how to make a stack function in a program. So the first thing to do is you go under function, mold set, and we want to record our start point. So we go back to that start point, which is x equals 50, y equals 40 at the end of our program. Next, we're going to write our program. So we're going to do teach, and then we click yes, new, call this stack, okay. So we start our start point. Now we want to go to mold open, so we'll insert under. First step, our Z is going to go into the mold. Save this point. Now we turn our vacuum on. On, confirm, save. Axis motion, we're going to move in our Y to pick our, sorry. So now we want our ejectors forward and back. So ejector forward, save, the IMM signal, ejector back, save. Now we're going to move on to our part. So we want to go set distance. So I'm going to go 50 on. So I'm going to hold this till it stops moving, save. I need to go 50 back, so same axes. Hold this for back. Save. Now on our Z axis. All right. So once our Z equals zero, we can start our, zap, our stack. So I'm gonna go under stack motion. I'm gonna pick stack parameter two. So it's important that our Z has gone to zero and we're gonna select which stack to use. So I'm using stack parameter two. I'm gonna click, so it should say stack start. I'm gonna click save. If we see green, that means we're doing the right thing. So now I need to get my X and Y and Z to the right point. And that point's gonna be the start of my stack. So X, So I have my X point. Um, so I save that. Now I need to move my Y. Save that. And now my Z. Save that. So it's important that we now need to take note of this point. So I would write down this point on a piece of paper. So once you record this point, because we're going to have to use this exact uh, stack point, you go under stack motion, and we're going to click modify. And for my start position, I want my X to start there. So I click X, yes. Y, yes. Z, yes. Now I'm going to write my stack. So in this case, I want my, so Y positive in this case is this way. Um, X positive is out and Z positive, uh, Z negative. Z positive would be down, but we're gonna stack in the negative, which is up. So I want my X to be negative, my Y I want positive in this case, and my Z to be negative. For quantities, I wanna do a five by five grid. And then I want it to go up three rows. So the way this will work is first we're gonna stack five across an X incrementing towards us. Then we're gonna crop stack in the Y. So it'll do one row of X, then it'll go out one and Y, then do another row of five. And then once it finishes those five, it'll go up Z three. So once I have all these values in, and this is the spacing, keep in mind, quantities cannot be anything but a whole number. Um, so if you want say a thousand parts in your bucket, you wanna do a thousand divided by 40 so I would need that to be 40 if I wanted 1,000. So I go back, now I click save. We know this is correct because we have all of our stack in green. So now we go under um, 
shut off our vacuum. Save that. Now I want my Z to go up. And now it's important, I bring my X and my Y back to the same point I started. So that point I wrote down, X equals 50, Y equals 40, I need to go there. So X, traverse in. Make sure this is 40, now my Y. So I'm gonna sync axes to my Y. Sorry, X needs to be 50, so you can see that if you scroll up. So my X needs to be 50, my Y equals 40. So I'll put my Y to 40. So forward. Now for my X axis, I need this to go perfect. So I have X equals 50, Y equals 40. Now I can save this step. I've returned to my start point. I can exit. I've now written a stack sequence. If I ever want to check that, I go under stack set. I would modify stack parameter two. Just connect, modify that there. And then under mold set, this is my start point. If during the running you need to modify it, click modify.